All right, so this turbo was given to me for free. This is a BGT off of a six liter power stroke. They replaced the turbo because they thought the turbo was a problem. And what they ended up finding out afterwards is that what they thought was a turbo issue was actually an EGR issue. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this turbo apart real quick, at least pull the two housings off, see if the unisting ring's cracked, see if we can see any damage inside of it. Because I think this is gonna be a good core to rebuild. And if it is, I'll go ahead and order a rebuild kit and I'll do a video of going through this turbo. But start with we do have some oil in here but I just made that worse by touching it I don't see anywhere where it looks like the wheels hit the housing so the outside of it looks okay oh no I lost bolt All right, it's gonna fight me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. I'm gonna get this housing off the back half of the turbo. All right. Got it apart here. I don't see any cracks in the unison ring. These are known for cracking and having problems. And they also wear out right here where the pin goes. So it looks pretty good. All the fins are in it for the VGT. That one's a little sticky, but they all move. I um, don't really see any damage on the wheel. The only thing that sucks is when we were getting it apart, I missed with the hammer and I hit the housing, so I've got a crack up here. But I do have another turbo that has a good center section that I can steal this off of. Um, this plate's fine on it. It's got problems in the exhaust housing. So I'll grab that plate off of it, but I think we're going to go ahead and rebuild this turbo. Um, I don't see anything too wrong with it. I'm pretty sure this was misdiagnosed by the shop that told him it needed a turbo. So I'll get the parts coming for it. I'll tear this housing off my other turbo that I've got sitting around. And we'll build one good turbo out of them. So if you guys don't know how VGT works, it's a solenoid right here which controls oil pressure that will clock this ring here that ring affects the angle of these fins so what these fins do is try to funnel the air to the wheel so that it spools fast and then as it spools they move out of the way to let airflow continue to make the turbo make boost so these things they're not overly complicated when you look at how a VGT turbo works pretty simple it just changes the duty cycle on this depending on RPM but it makes a lot of difference if you ever driven a 7.3 versus a 6.0 a 6.0 picks up and takes off a lot faster and that's just due to the VGT on the trucks
but we'll get parts coming for it. I'll go steal the wheel off my other turbo. It's sitting over at Chris's shop. And, uh, not the wheel, the backing plate here. I'll throw everything in the parts tank. I'm running his shop again on Saturday for him because he's got something going on. But a hot tank, all my parts for it while I'm over there. Bring it back home. And we'll get this turbo built. So, I'll keep an eye out for that video. It'll be coming up soon. Another thing, when you go to put these together, that housing is spaced to only go on one way on the front. And when you get to the back here, there's a little hole here, which lines up with the dowel pin here. So there is no way to clock a turbo from a six liter. These garrets only go together one way. So you don't have to worry about like, your marks or anything when you tear them apart. They will only go back together the way they came apart. So got the wheel off the turbo. Now that is reverse rotation. So you put a seven eighths on the end, um, like a ratchet, 14 on your impact to hit to tighten. And it'll pop that off. So now that we have that off and out of the way. There's the shaft, the exhaust wheel. There's some seals on here, and these are the bushings. So the two surfaces where the bushings ride actually don't look bad on this. Uh, where in the hell did I put it? There's the front of the turbo off. So this ring right here is where I broke when I was taking it apart. Oh, I see it. There we go. I was wondering why I wasn't to sit back in there, right? But there we go. So that's disassembled as far as we need to to get it cleaned up, and get the parts coming for it, so we can get this turbo rebuilt. So I'll give you a little bit closer view before I put everything in bags and get ready to take it to get it cleaned up. This is that piece that when it comes out is stuck to the back of the front housing. There's a bushing that's inside of there still that needs to come out. The other one is on the exhaust shaft. There's the exhaust housing. Here's the wheel. While we have it apart, I'll probably order a wicked wheel for it. Because honestly, more people would rather, at least people I deal with, would rather buy a turbo that's already got a wicked wheel in it. So I'll throw it in there while I have it apart. Everything's going to get a good cleaning. We'll throw a new BGT solenoid in because the plug end of it's already cracked. But other than that, it's not in too bad a shape. I guess we can take the snap ring pliers. We can take the uh, end cap out here for the actuator for the BGT, but I'll mess with that later. Um, Go ahead and get the rebuild kit for it because I don't see anything right now. Uh, all the common problems that I have, this one doesn't seem to be showing signs of. So we'll get parts coming for it. And uh, there'll be a video up soon. We'll go ahead and rebuild this turbo and just give you a quick and dirty run through of how you get a 6 liter turbo rebuilt because these things are known for having problems. Usually, what I see other than excessive play is a cracked unison ring. So this ring will crack and then hang up, and the VGT doesn't want to work right.